All right, I am going to show you a really amazing feature in Canva. All of our staff and students have access to this, but the feature I'm going to show you is only something that staff would have access to. And it's basically app smashing a few things in Canva. So we're going to use Canva's Magic Write, which is the teacher only AI tool in Canva. And we're going to use that to help us come up with a series of exit ticket questions that'll save you time. And we're also going to use a feature in Canva. It's an app in Canva called Bolt Create. And we're going to mail merge essentially all of the questions that we come up with, with the AI tool onto an exit ticket template. So first thing is to go into Canva and just in the search bar, search exit ticket templates, find one that you like. I will say a lot of them are set up to where they can be printed. And there's like two of them per page, which isn't really what I was going for. So what I wanted to do was make it one exit ticket on a slide. So I did the whole resize, magic size, made it into a presentation style frame, and I have it set up here. So made it look cute. This space here is where students are going to write their response or type it out. And then up here is where the teacher would have the students write their name, something like that. And then this is where I want the exit ticket question to actually go. And if this is set up as you know, something you're projecting in front of the class, then your question could go down here and it's not necessarily a space for students to write on. It's really up to you and how you wanna do this. So I have this set up and all I did was go over here and just add a subheading. And you can pick any one of these, but we have to have a little text box here whether we don't have any content written out. So the first thing I'm going to do is close this. And then over here, there's this little quick actions menu. It's actually the slash button so you can open up quickly. And what we're going to do is select Magic Write. You can also search for it. And that's the AI tool here in Canva to help your writing sound a little bit more polished, to help you with writer's block and all that stuff. So we're going to basically use this as if it was a chat GPT. And you could also do the chat GPT, but I'm just staying in Canva for now. And I'm going to write in, create 25 exit ticket questions to encourage, to assess student understanding end of a lesson. The question should be mix of lower Bloom's taxonomy level of thinking and higher order thinking. And then for some formatting pieces, I'm just going to say do not number or bullet list the questions, but each question on it, it's own separate line. And make sure you add that in because it's essential for our next step. If you wanted to have the questions be uh, encouraging student metacognition or reflection, you could totally have it do that as well. It's really up to you on what you want it to make. So then we're going to click generate or control enter. It's going to sing. And there we go. So if I really like these questions, then I can use them. If I don't like these and I think that I need to give it a little bit more information, like most AI tools, the more specifics and outputs I give it, the better it's going to be. So I can do this, but for this example, I'm just going to keep this. And what I'm going to do is I'm not going to insert it. I'm going to copy this. So if I click the little copy button here, I have check mark now, it shows me that it copied it into the page. And then I'm just going to close magic right. Next thing I'm going to do is come over here into this left-hand toolbar in Canva. And there's a really cool feature here called Bolt Create. It's an app. If you don't have that as one of your buttons, come over here to apps and just search Bolt Create, use it one time, and then it shows up. I use it a lot, so that's why it's over here. So I'm going to do enter data manually, and we're essentially mapping fields here to where we're going to take space here where it says a little body of text, and I'm going to have that align with fields on a spreadsheet. So you'll select enter data manually, and then right here, you are seeing two columns, you'll delete everything that's on here. I'm just gonna call this one questions and then I'm gonna paste in all of those questions that we copied from the AI magic, right? So that's why it's important that you tell it not to number the questions unless you want the numbers on there. I also had it put each one on its own separate line just so it pasted it over a little bit clean and I don't have to worry about all these cells. So then what I'm gonna do is come over here and I'll do done. And the next part is I need to align this to a data field. So what I can do here is there's this little connect data button that pops up as soon as I click this text box here. And that's why we didn't have anything there. So I'm going to do connect data and then I'll just click questions and I'll disconnect this so you can see it, but click it, connect data. 
and I'll click this little question because we're basically, we're matching that questions column that I have on that spreadsheet to this blank space here, this text box. So it's going to start plugging in those questions into this text box. So I have it connected and then I'll do continue. And I wanted to add all 25 of these questions. And it's going to make each question its own separate slide, its own separate exit ticket. So I'll do generate. And then it makes a copy. So I sold my original there if I ever wanted to change anything or do this over again. But here we go. And now I have 25 exit ticket slides and questions. If I wanted to play around with this font size, make it bigger, change my design, I can do that. But here we go. Now I have an exit ticket made. Didn't take me a whole lot of time. Do that and I'm all good to go.